Hi, this is Dr. Bosworth, and today I'm going to tackle the question on a ketogenic diet regarding you've got to eat carbs to live. The first time I heard this was from one of my, my son's classmates' mothers. My book was being edited, and I had a 14-year-old who wanted to read it. He was an athlete and had heard about how LeBron James and some of the other famous ketogenic eaters had been using it to strengthen their game. So he was reading the diet, went home, and actually started doing it. And his mother calls saying, you have to eat carbs to live. And uh, I get this from patients who are unsettled by giving up things like fruit. So let's go through the things that truly are essential for human life. And this list isn't mine. It's been around for a long time. It should take you back to like biology 101. But I think it's a great review. And if you have anybody making this argument, you can use this video to help reason for using the ketogenic diet. So number one, the first thing you need that's essential for life is water. You have to drink water or you will die. Uh, number two, you need energy. And you can get energy in three ways. You can get it from fat, you can get it from protein, or you can get it from carbohydrates. But you gotta have one of them, you gotta have enough energy to fuel the body. Number three, you need minerals. And minerals are divided up into the kind of macro minerals, which are things like calcium and phosphorus and sodium. But there's also micro minerals, which are not needed in large quantities, but if you go along without them, the body can't sustain. They are essential for the human body to live. I have a chart that I put in the book and that I put in this blog uh, to show you how several of the ketogenic foods are very high in minerals, that you can find these minerals in very high nutrient-dense foods that are found in the ketogenic diet. Number four, amino acids. Those are the proteins we find in many of our foods, and they are many of your amino acids that you make from other proteins, but some of them are essential. Next, we have fatty acids. Fatty acids are another way to say the fat components that our body is made up of. And one of the places that I think people forget about is that every cell membrane in every one of your cells is made up from a little fatty acid. We have so much of our system that is dependent on the health and abundance of the fat molecules in our system that we've kind of demonized fat over these last 20 years, but to our own detriment, the fat in our system and the fat in our bodies in a high quality predicts how well your cells repair, how fragile they are when put under stress. And one of the reasons is that every cell membrane is made up of little fatty acids. There's two fatty acids that are particularly essential, meaning we can't make them from other fats. Those are omega-3 fatty acids and omega-6 fatty acids. Those can lead us into a very big discussion, but those are the two that are essential. Uh, number six, we move on to vitamins, and vitamins are essential for human life. People will make the argument you can't find them in a ketogenic diet. You have to have things like fruit. That's not true. I like to point out vitamin C, that in a 100 grams of broccoli, you have more vitamin C than you do in an orange. I'll get the argument that broccoli is also carbohydrates. Yes, it has carbohydrates in it. You will also find vitamin C in liver. A tablespoon of liver gets you enough vitamin C for the whole week. Those facts are the information that we need to get out there and to continue to educate patients on a ketogenic diet. Number seven are some miscellaneous things like inositol, choline, and carnitine, all found in very nutrient-dense foods that are on the ketogenic diet. But those are the seven things that are essential for life. And what you didn't notice in that list is there is no carbohydrate on the list. You do not need carbohydrates to live. You do not need carbohydrates to live. So if that's the argument people are using to sway you against using the ketogenic diet, I hope this video is helpful. If you want to learn more, you can check out my book called Any Way You Can on Amazon. Until next time, I hope this was helpful.